I'm Kate Campbell. And I'm Carlos Romero. Welcome to What's the Big Idea? Good things start with big ideas. If you want to succeed in sports, on the stage, in the classroom, wherever, you have to think big. That's right, Carlos. Before we look at today's big ideas, we have a special guest who is thinking big about her career in music. Joining us from Nashville is Maggie Richardson. Hello, Maggie. Hi, Kate. Hi, Carlos. Maggie is working toward a career in the music business. Plus, she has won the grand finale at Disney World's American Idol Experience. Maggie, are you working on anything exciting now? Yes. I did a recording session where I sang with Ashlyn Matheny on a new song called It's a Good Life. And I started college. Are you putting your career on hold to go to college? No, continuing my education is part of my career plan. I'm studying vocal performance. Now that's an example of thinking great. Thanks, Maggie. Thank you, Kate. Carlos, what's the big idea? This time, the big idea is, well, let's just say very sweet, and it is simply too big to ignore. How about a chocolate bar that weighs more than 12,000 pounds? The big idea is the world's largest chocolate bar, and it's in the Guinness Book of World Records. Our own Randall Phillips has a story. Randall? That's right, Carlos. World's finest chocolate has made the world's largest chocolate bar. It weighs about 12,000 pounds. The world record was announced at the headquarters of World's Finest Chocolate in Chicago. World's Finest Chocolate is a leading chocolate fundraising company. Fundraisers using their products have raised more than $3 billion for schools and other organizations. Oh yeah, I've sold lots of World's Finest Chocolate Bars. And so do my parents and grandparents. An official of the company said they created the world's largest chocolate bar to get our attention. He said there's an idea even bigger than the bar. Bigger than a 12,000 pound chocolate bar? Yes, the really big idea is eating smart. Come again? I don't get it. As I mentioned earlier, the people at World's Finest Chocolate created the world's largest chocolate bar to get our attention. Tyler Jeffrey, an official with the company, tells us about the big idea behind the big bar. We created the bar to get people's attention. By getting your attention, we're hoping to be able to give you information that you can use about portion control and healthy eating. Sweets, snacks, treats, they're okay to eat, but in moderation, a little bit at a time. If we eat too much of anything, it's not healthy for us. There you have it. The big idea is not really the world's largest chocolate bar. The big idea is eating right. Eating the right foods in the right amount. It's all about portion control. Think about it. A single serving from a chocolate bar is only about 25 grams. If this bar weighs 12,000 pounds, that comes to 5,443,108 grams. Check the math and you'll see that this bar has enough servings for 209,350 people. That's enough for each and every resident of San Bernardino, California or Augusta, Georgia. Tyler Jeffrey also said the title of world's largest chocolate bar is not easy to come by. To get the Guinness record, we had to apply with Guinness, let them know we're trying to break the record. They give us some rules and regulations about how we have to do that. And one of the main things is you have to make it the same way you make a normal chocolate bar. So we had to build a mold, create a mold large enough that we could make our world's finest chocolate bar. We've created a uh, process to move the chocolate there, pour it into the mold. The mold then fills with the chocolate. We had to put it into a room that was cooled. We created a room that was the right temperature uh, so that the bar could cool in the proper way. Waited overnight uh, and then we turned the entire bar over and uh, removed the mold to reveal the world's largest chocolate bar. been talking with Maggie Richardson about how she is preparing for her career in music. Maggie has been working as a studio session singer and has been performing in stage musicals since she was five. And now, she's in college studying vocal performance. While I was talking with Maggie earlier, she mentioned that nutrition and exercise are really important to her. That's right, Kate. We're never too young to think big and set high goals for ourselves. No matter what we plan to do later in life, whether we want to be singers, 
athletes, lawyers, or web designers. We have to develop healthy habits when we're young because we know these habits will stay with us throughout our lives. Eating right is not just about eating the right foods. It's also about eating the right amounts. How much you eat really does matter, especially when it comes to treats like chocolate. Maggie, Randall is in the kitchen with an interesting take on portion control. Portion control is eating the right amount. But how much is the right amount? For the answer, we go to Nelda Mercer, a registered dietitian. I think you will agree that she's an expert with a healthy dose of ideas. Randall, portion control is about eating the right foods in the right amounts. And practicing portion control is a great way to establish healthy eating habits. All foods fit in a healthy diet. You don't have to deprive yourself of any of your favorite foods. Just remember to think big and eat smart. It makes more sense when you use examples so you can see how much is enough. For instance, the baseball is about the size of one cup of leafy vegetables like spinach or lettuce. Replace the mouse with a serving of pasta the same size and you'd have the right size serving, about half a cup. The ping pong ball is two tablespoons of peanut butter and the CD case is the size of one slice of whole grain bread. Go online with your mom or dad and do a search for food portions for children. You'll find more fun and interesting examples. That's good info, but what about treats? Any ideas about how we can avoid the temptation to eat too much candy or too many snacks? That's a good question. Here's an idea that works. Make sure you share and pair. That's a good rhyme, but what does it mean? Simple. Don't eat the whole chocolate bar at one time. Have a section, share a section, and save the rest for tomorrow. Also, pair the treat with something else. A small piece of chocolate and a strawberry makes a good pair. Grapes are also good pairs for chocolate. That is good advice, Randall. Portion control is one of the keys to a healthy lifestyle. Another key is physical activity, and Maggie has something to really get you moving. Get off the couch and put away those video games. Get outside and get moving. To be healthy and happy, you need to be active for at least an hour every day. Even if you're not playing on a team, it's easy to exercise. Jumping rope, riding your bike, or taking a walk with your parents are all good ways to stay fit. Just remember, play hard, think big, and eat right. What's the big idea? The world's largest chocolate bar is indeed big, but the really big idea is staying in balance with a healthy lifestyle. When all is said and done, the world's largest chocolate bar is one big reminder to eat smart and keep moving. And that, my friends, is the big idea. Goodbye, everyone. Let's move it.
smaller amounts, and share treats with others. Play hard, eat smart. Chocolate is a treat, not an always food. Eat only a little at a time. Thinking big and eating smart. Now that's a big idea.